Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Thank you. 
Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. Thank you. Good afternoon, and welcome to Dalhousie University's summer convocation for our 2020 and 2021 graduating classes from the Faculty of Engineering. My name is Frank Harvey, and it is my distinct honor and privilege to be serving as Dalhousie's Provost and Vice President Academic, and I will be the MC for today's ceremony. We are all absolutely thrilled to be here celebrating this very special occasion for our amazing uh, uh, graduate students, graduating students and their families who uh, have been waiting for up to two years to celebrate this in person. So it's great to have everybody here. I would like to ask Elder Thomas Christmas from Eskasoni First Nation to deliver the traditional Mi'kmaq welcome. Wait, Could I ask? Did I, did I hear somebody else in the crowd say hello to you? Great, thank you. Can I ask you to rise, please? <clears throat> I have the, the honor of saying an opening prayer and welcoming you to Mi'kma'ki, the territory of the Mi'kmaq. Kisokwalaliak, <laughs> I am asking the Creator, and I am thanking the Creator for the, all the hard work that the students were able to do, especially the parents and the grandparents, on helping those students graduate. I'm also asking the Creator to watch over you while you are in our territory and to drive with you while you are going home so that you will be driving safe and you will be with the Creator. And I thank each and every one of you for coming in and enjoying the celebration of graduation. They call it a convocation. Thank you very much, and I hope you guys have a good day. Baladio. Thank you. Amen. Thank you very much, Elder Christmas, for another beautiful welcome. Yes, please be seated. I would also like to acknowledge that Dalhousie University and our community benefit from and sit on Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. We are very grateful for our partnerships and our friendships across Dalhousie's campuses, our faculties, and our administrative units. We are grateful for our community leaders, our elders and residents, our Indigenous Advisory Council, grateful for our Director of Indigenous Community Engagement, Indigenous Student Center, Indigenous Research Facilitator in our VP Research Office, Indigenous Health Program and Inclusive Pathways in the Medical Professions, and many other very important initiatives and partnerships across our campuses and our faculties, including the Faculty of Engineering. We will continue to work on and build on these critically important relationships because 
we are all treaty people and we take these words and our commitment to truth and reconciliation very seriously. We would also like to acknowledge the histories, the contributions and the legacies of the African Nova Scotian people and communities who have been here for over 400 years. We are grateful for our African Nova Scotian Advisory Council, our Director of African Nova Scotian Community Engagement and our Pathways into the Truro Campus programs. There are two times on a university campus that are particularly significant. The first, of course, is at the start of every year when we welcome our new students to campus. And the second is at the end when we come together to celebrate the completion of your program. But as we all know, the COVID pandemic prevented roughly 9,800 students and their families from coming together at the end of your programs, which is why this is such a special event because now, finally, uh, we have an opportunity to share with your family and friends the many, many reasons this is such a special day. Completing your degree in 2020 and 2021, particularly while dealing with the uniquely challenging circumstances of a global pandemic, certainly gives all of us many reasons to be incredibly proud of you and your accomplishments. Convocation marks the culmination of years of very, very hard work, and your hard work deserves to be formally acknowledged and formally celebrated. Throughout the completion of your degree, you've spent hundreds of hours in classes, tutorials and labs. You've written and studied hundreds of pages of notes from classes, tutorials and labs. You solved about a thousand assignment problems. Many of you had your first exposure to professional practice through your co-op terms. You have continued to find time uh, to be uh, student leaders in societies, athletics, uh, design competitions, and extracurricular activities. You've demonstrated the completeness of your learning and preparedness for the industry through successful capstone projects. You completed hundreds of quizzes and midterm exams and finals, and you obviously made many good friends. But as you completed your degree, you also spent a good part of your time balancing school and work and social lives, dealing with fears and anxieties about your future, your programs, dealing with relationships, social pressures, managing your budget, in many cases, completing um, your degrees while juggling one, two, and in some cases, three jobs to cover tuition. And I'm sure you dealt with personal and emotional crises and losses, perhaps losses tied to the pandemic. Your graduation speaks volumes about your capacity and your willingness to succeed anywhere by applying the life lessons, the skills, the knowledge, the passions, and the life choices you lived through while completing your Dow degree. These are all the reasons we waited to celebrate today. These are all the reasons your family and your friends and the entire Dalhousie community are so incredibly proud of you. These are all the reasons you inspire us. So feel free to make some noise. Congratulations. <laughs> Family and friends, although we would typically encourage you to walk around the auditorium, uh, uh, and take as many pictures as you'd like. For health and safety reasons, we're gonna ask that you stay in your seat. You could stand up, take as many pictures as you'd like, share them uh, through hashtag DalGrad. Uh, we have a photographer from Life Touch um, Photography who will be taking close-up uh, photos of the graduates as they cross the stage and we'll be happy to share those. Please share your best celebration photos and also know that we have um, tape the convocation and you can share it through the Dow website. Now I'd like to take a moment to introduce those individuals uh, in the platform party that, uh, who will be participating in the ceremony today. So when I call your name, if you can please rise and, and stay standing um, if you are able. Uh, Scott Bryson, our chancellor, Dalhousie's chancellor. Dr. Deep Saini, the President and Vice-Chancellor of Dalhousie. 
Dr. Louise Spiteri, the Chair of Dalhousie Senate. Dr. John Newhook, Dean of the Faculty of Engineering. Dr. Hani L. Nagar, the Associate Dean, Faculty of Graduate Studies. Catherine Martin, who brought our graduates into the auditorium, uh, our Director of Indigenous Community Engagement. She will be back, she will be back soon. And uh, Dr. Timothy Little, Associate Dean of Engineering in the University. Yeah. And Dr. Little uh, escorted the graduate students into the auditorium carrying Dalhousie's new Dawn staff. So thank you very much, uh, Dr. Little. Also on the platform today and in the audience are others who have contributed um, to the success of our students. These include numerous faculty members, uh, staff, administrators, associate deans, associate VPs and VPs, many others who are all so critical to the success of our students and to the academic excellence of our programs. Can I ask you to stand up as well? Your platform party for today. Thank you, please be seated, thank you. Can I ask those here today to take a second to turn the sound off on your phones? Um, and uh, for those of you who have small children and babies, please don't worry at all about those sounds. They're beautiful, we welcome them, we encourage them. Um, and as I said in a previous convocation, it's always great to hear the voices of future Dow students. So please don't worry, don't worry about those sounds. I'd now like to invite Deep Saini, Dr. Deep Saini, to deliver the President's remarks on this wonderful occasion. Thank you, Dr. Harvey, graduates, family and friends, and distinguished guests. What an honor and what a pleasure, what an immense pleasure it is to see you all here today and what an immense pleasure it is to finally be able to join you all in person in convocation. This is just an amazing feeling. You know that we started or we resumed in-person convocations uh, in May and this one is my 23rd convocation this year in person and it feels like the first one. I'm still letting it sink in as I am sure you are too. It is such a special occasion. Graduates, it is your special day. The whole reason for this is you. Thank you for returning to Dalhousie for this very special ceremony. We are, of course, delighted to see you back here. Convocation is normally a celebration of your transition from students to graduates. But as you know only too well, the last couple of years didn't quite pan out the way any of us would have imagined. The classes of 2020 and 21 missed out on some of the most important rites of passage that mark the transition of a graduate to an alumnus and the conclusion of your university experience. Moreover, you completed your studies during a period of extraordinary stress and uncertainty, uncertainty that kept becoming newly uncertain day by day by day, as you know. So, more than anything today, we are celebrating your perseverance, your resilience, your grit, your determination, and all that you have achieved despite the incessant challenges that the circumstances threw at you. And that has been going on since the beginning of 2020. You are just truly awesome. So in honor of this awesomeness, let's put our hands together and say bravo to these students. This milestone that we are experiencing today, you have earned it very well. It is truly a well-earned milestone, and might I add, it is also long overdue. 
It is a source of great pride and pleasure for both you and very understandably those, for those who support you, those who are here and those I'm sure are following this even though they are unable to be here. You didn't have it easy, but I dare to imagine that someday you will look back and realize, and that is if you don't realize already, that this experience has made you stronger, perhaps it has made you more resilient, more creative, more innovative, more empathetic, more civic-minded, more conscious of how the actions of one impact many, and more committed to striving for a better tomorrow. And these are exactly the traits that our world needs right now. You completed your studies and began your careers during a time of profound change. Over the past couple of years, the phrase new normal has become an increasingly familiar part of our lexicon. But is this new normal really something that has happened uniquely only to us in history? Well, in my view, not entirely. <clears throat> For the society to enter a new normal is really nothing unique in itself because if you look at the human history, it's replete with major turning points of very similar magnitude. So what's special about this? The special thing about and the unique thing about this particular new normal is that it is coincident with the confluence of daunting and often wicked challenges that the world is facing today. It's not just the pandemic. What else is happening? You're familiar with it, but let me list some examples. Climate change and its looming impacts. These are not really looming impacts, they are with us as we speak. The urgency around the world to recognize and address the many historical wrongs that must be righted. The new global public health challenges that we have been living through and we are still living through them. The need to feed a projected population of nine billion people without destroying the planet. The challenges to democracy, peace, and global order that are just too real in everyday news today. Now, I'm certain you're wondering what's wrong with this fellow that on a day of celebration, he's talking about all these depressing things. If I was sitting with you, I'd ask the same question. But I have a point to make, so please bear with me. <clears throat> it is true that the task in front of you is not an easy one, and it will surely demand a great deal of you. But amidst all these uncertainties and challenges, I believe there are unparalleled opportunities to be seized. In some ways, we may well be living you know, living through, and if not living through, we are at the cusp of the greatest creative destruction in the history of mankind. To seize these opportunities, you will have to be willing to take chances and take risks and be bold. And I've been giving a lot of thought to this idea of being bold and taking chances and risks and reflecting back my, my, at my own life and career. And I realized that some of the biggest breakthroughs that happened to me personally, they happened when I was faced with a dilemma, when I was standing at a fork, not knowing which way to go, and found somehow the courage to pick the riskier and the bolder option among all those, those, all those options that were available, available to me at that point. I'm reminded of the words of the Roman philosopher Seneca. <clears throat> These words were said over 2,000 years ago, but they are as true today as they were back then. And I quote him, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. Let me repeat, it is a mouthful. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that things are difficult. And guess what? And that's the point I want to make. Your generation has demonstrated again and again 
that you have what it takes to overcome extreme circumstances. When I see what you have overcome over the past two years, and especially how you have overcome it, and how and what you have accomplished, and most importantly, what you have, be what you have become as a result of all of that, I feel totally confident that you are totally up to the task and that the world is in very, very competent hands. So, as you prepare to take this world in your competent hands, also remember that your university education has trained, to ask, trained you to ask critical questions. There are many parts of university education. In my view, the most important part is the critical thinking and asking those critical questions that really matter and finding answers to them. And on, on your way to finding answers to, to those questions, you make decisions based on evidence and not on unsubstantiated opinions. This is a powerful tool in your competent hands. And it is also a responsibility in a world that is full of people seeking to impose their opinions on, over the evidence. That's always been the case. There have always been the people who would want to impose opinions over the evidence but we somehow seem to be going through a time when there is a great propensity of people around the world who would rely on opinion over the evidence. Your job is to make all of that um, subservient to evidence-based decisions. So exercise this responsibility with confidence and courage as you step in to lead the world which, in fact, you have already started doing. Today, we are also celebrating your membership in Dalhousie's worldwide community of alumni. And this is a distinguished group that has already left an indelible mark on societies and countries around the world. I have no doubt whatsoever that you will uphold this tradition, and the years to come will see you, too, achieving great things and achieving those great things not just for you, but for the world. The fact that you have returned to Dalhousie for this ceremony shows your love for your alma mater and the pride you feel in your degree. These are facts that we do not take lightly. We are committed to continuing to raise our ambitions for Dalhousie every day and make Dalhousie a better place every day than it was the day before. And in doing so, we are working on ensuring that the value of your degree keeps on appreciating as the time passes. You, our graduates and alumni, are the greatest source of pride for us. You're also the greatest source of joy for us. So on behalf of Dalhousie University, please accept my heartfelt congratulations. Thank you for returning to celebrate with us, and please stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you very much, President Zaini. Uh, as you may recall, in 2020, we celebrated the first of four virtual convocations with graduates and their families who uh, all tuned in from homes around the world. And as we look for innovative ways to celebrate during the pandemic and to uh, celebrate our graduates, we benefited from an amazing collaboration between the Big Sing Musical Event Group and the Office of Advancement and representatives from the Fountain School of Performing Arts. Jacqueline Warwick, Warwick, who at the time was the director of the Fountain School, adapted the lyrics to Heave Away, a song that was made famous by the Fables, a great uh, band from Newfoundland. In honor of everything that uh, you've been through, everything that we've been through over the past few years, and in celebration of your achievement, we'd like to share that video with you today. Come get your duds in order, cause we're bound across the water. Heave away, me jollies, heave away. Come get your duds in order, 
cause we're bound to leave tomorrow, heave away. Me jolly boys, we're all bound away. There's some that's bound for White Horse, and there's some bound for St. John's. Heave away, me jollies, heave away. They all set up from Halifax, but we still cheer them on. Heave away, me jolly boys, we're all bound away. They came to learn to study, oh, they came to us to doubt. Heave away, me jollies, heave away. Welcome to Dalhousie's Convocation Ceremony for the Classes of 2020 and 2021. I'm Maria Panopalis. I graduated from Dal in 1999 with a degree in Math and Stats, which inevitably led me to my career at CTV Atlantic. Now, math may not seem like a likely path to journalism, but it's where I learned one of my most important lessons. There may only be one right answer in mathematics, but there are a lot of ways to get there. And that brings me to you, my dear grads. You certainly didn't have a conventional university experience, but you ended up exactly where you need to be to make your next big move. So go for it, knowing that you can persevere through anything. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. I'm Devar Sue president of the Dalhousie Alumni Association and a 2014 mechanical engineering grad. On behalf of the entire alumni community, I am very pleased to offer my congratulations to you and your families. I hope you're able to enjoy this very special moment of crossing the stage, which signifies not only your efforts as students, but also the perseverance you've shown these last couple of years. Once again, many congratulations to you all and a very warm official welcome to the Dalhousie Alumni Network. Thank you to Maria Panopalis, co-host and producer of the CTV News at Five, and Dalhousie alumnus Devash Sood, president of the Dalhousie Alumni Association, for welcoming graduates back to campus. Will graduates please rise? Mr. Chancellor. As Chair of the Senate of Dalhousie University, I ask you to confer degrees upon those candidates whose names have been approved by Senate. By virtue of the authority vested in me and in Dalhousie University, I admit to the respective degrees and diplomas with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto those candidates who have fulfilled the requirements 
of that degree and whose names have been approved by the Senate. Admito vos ad gratum. Congratulations. Graduates, please be seated. I would now like to call upon Dr. John Newhook, the Dean of the Faculty of Graduate, uh, sorry, the, the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, sorry, John, uh, Dr. Hani L. Nagar, the Associate Dean, Faculty of Graduate Studies, and Wesley Giffen, an order from the Fountain School of Performing Arts uh, to present uh, the candidates who are here today receiving degrees. Mr. Chancellor, as Dean, I am pleased to be here today to celebrate the accomplishments of candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for diplomas and degrees within the Faculty of Engineering. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates are here today to receive the Diploma in Engineering. Lindsay Elise Noel Cormier. <laughs> Devong Desai. <laughs> Benjamin Alexander Furlong. Mustafa Jaweed. <laughs> Alistair Maxim. <laughs> Christina T. Nguyen. Denise Yutsever. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Diploma in Engineering. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates are here today to receive the Bachelor of Engineering. Amir Muhammad Ali, in Electrical Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Tarmi Kirshia Abbott, Chemical Engineering Cooperative Program. Hussein Sami Abdelhakim Abdelahim in Electronical Engineering. <laughs> Yusuf Abu Zidan in Industrial Engineering with Distinction. Farah Afani in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program with Distinction. <laughs> Fatima Hassan Al Hassan in Chemical Engineering. Ibrahim Mohammed Al Assad in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Al 
John Amir Arab in Civil Engineering, Sexton Distinction, and a University Medal in Civil Engineering. Cecil Samuel Ash in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction, and a University Medal in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Kai Aline, Chemical Engineering. Onobil Onoy in Mineral Resource Engineering Cooperative Program. Adam Awad in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. Kesslyn Kennedy I.O. James in Environmental Engineering Cooperative Program. Joel Felix Best in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program. Laura Jill Brenton, Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program with Distinction. Martin George Breen in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Dylan Patrick Yuzeb Kamis, Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. Peter Busov. Peter Busov in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program. Sam Chen in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Carlos Andreas Cisneros Rosado in Mechanical Engineering. Ian Desmond Conrad in Chemical Engineering Cooperative Program with Distinction. <laughs> Matthew Allen Coolen in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program with Distinction. Sylvia Du Bois in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Connor Quinton Leonard Daw in, in Electrical Engineering. Gregory Duchenne, Cooperative Education in Electrical Engineering. <laughs> James Gordon Dyson in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. Abdel Monem Hani Elagar in Civil Engineering Sexton Distinction. Sarah Jennifer Evely in Civil Engineering.
Sammy David Farah in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program with Distinction. Laura Margaret Flick in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Emma Leanne Hawkins Fudge in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. Megan Elizabeth Hawkins Funge in Electrical Engineering Cooperative Program with Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Kayette Kenneth Fung in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. Andrew Joseph Furlong in Chemical Engineering Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Emily Ann Gibble in Environmental Engineering. Olivia Janelle Gregan in Chemical Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Faisal Nazar Haseen Hajibi in Mechanical Engineering with Distinction. Samuel Gerard Carson Hames in Electrical Engineering Cooperative Program with Institution of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Medal, Sexton Distinction, and a Governor General Silver Medal along with a University Medal in Electrical Engineering. Yusuf Karim Hassab Ednabi in Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Dua Marwan Hijazi in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. Jensen Marie Hutter in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Shannon Marie Isaacs in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Kervin Anthony Jones in Electrical Engineering. Benjamin Blair Kelly in Chemical Engineering Cooperative Program with Distinction. <laughs> Ian Patrick Kerr in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Ahmad Khalid in Industrial Engineering. Jisoo Kim in Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Sebastian John King in Mechanical Engineering. Rianne Laurie Lewis in Civil Engineering. <laughs> K 
Connor Jason Locke in environmental engineering. Benjamin Martin Alexander Lyons in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Alexandra Marjorie Rita McDonald in Industrial Engineering. Camden Kenneth Charles McDonald in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. John Leonard Scott McDonald in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program. Mark William McGilvery in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program. Sarah Marie McNeil in Environmental Engineering with Distinction. Sainan Han Menderhill in Electrical Engineering. James Alexander Perry Matthews in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. Jordan Janfada McCachran in Electrical Engineering with Distinction. Caitlin Elizabeth Murphy in Environmental Engineering. Saif Eldin Nafea in Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Tharakorn Narakul in Mechanical Engineering, a Canadian Society for Medi Mechanical Engineering Medal, Sexton Distinction, and a University Medal in Mechanical Engineering. Neha Numan in Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Michael Curtis Neal in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Benjamin Robert Webster Newcomb in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. Issa Jamal Niemer in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. Daniel Olabe in Civil Engineering. Yogan Palin Perianen in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program. Connor Patterson in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program. Tiani Eleanor Sharefe Paul in Environmental Engineering. Alex Joseph Potier in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. Ahmed Fati Ramadan in Electrical Engineering.
questions. Jacob Glassinau Remiskel in civil engineering. Ethan Rayshore in civil engineering cooperative program with Sexton Distinction. Brett Erica Reed in Chemical Engineering Cooperative Program with Distinction. <laughs> Ashley Rose Rich in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Tyler Murray Richardson in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. Cesar Rodriguez in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Basel Sabri in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Susim Santra in Industrial Engineering. Nicholas Emmanuel Saud in Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Julia Mackenzie Sardi in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Corey Nathan Wade Sawyer in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program. Lawrence Sebastian Schaefer in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Mohanad Amen Salim in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. Farah Sharstan, Bachelor of Engineering Cooperative Program in Civil Engineering with Distinction. <laughs> Keegan Caldwell Sheffield in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. Jacob Daniel Steele in Chemical Engineering with Sexton Distinction and a University Medal in Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Jasmine Gaia Solesley in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. Kostas Volopoulos in Electrical Engineering Cooperative Program. Mohammed Ali Syed in Industrial Engineering. Regis Stenslaus Tarimo in Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Ryan Gordon Taylor in Electrical Engineering Cooperative Program. Kim Lee Ashley Tomlinson in Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Woo! 
Nikita Komba Wambia Kale in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. Mark Jeffrey Wiseman in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. Success Musa Wokili in Industrial Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> ben Peter Wright in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Ching Yang Wu in Mechanical Engineering. Xiang Xu Zhu in Civil Engineering Cooperative Program. <laughs> Abnen Khaled Yamin in Mechanical Engineering Cooperative Program with distinction. Chen Zhang in Environmental Engineering Cooperative Program. Bo Xing Zhou in Electrical Engineering. Mr. Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Bachelor of Engineering. Mr. Chancellor, as Associate Dean, I am pleased to be here today to celebrate the accomplishments of candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for degrees within the Faculty of Graduate Studies. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates are here today to receive the Master of Applied Science. Mohammed Asif Hassan Anik in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Rakshit Badrinath in Civil Engineering. Cecil Samuel Ash in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Natalie Marie Ash in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Tessa Denise D'Angelo Bomer in Industrial Engineering. John Charles Campbell in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Riley William Cook, Mechanical Engineering. Rafael Lucas Costa Souza in Industrial Engineering. Woo! 
Raymond Douglas Craddock in civil engineering. Anita Shiny Kanagaraj in civil engineering. Mark Daniel Manser in industrial engineering. Nagalamar Nagarajan in Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Justin Harold Thomas in Civil Engineering. <laughs> Sharon Victor in Environmental Engineering. Ashley Page Wheaton in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Master of Applied Science. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates are here today to receive the Master of Engineering. Sophia Akumalafi in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Sonika Anamredi in Electrical Engineering. Jaidip Rajesh Ashamarida in electrical engineering, or industrial engineering, sorry. <laughs> so many of them. Santos Balakrishnan in electrical engineering. Vantian Balasubramanian in, in Industrial Engineering. <laughs> Tamal Chandra Biswas in Interworking. <laughs> Akila Burma in Interworking. Rojna Lakisha Chandraikam in Internet Working. <laughs> Suraj Chandra Shekran in Internet Working. Priyanka Rajasnai, sorry, Priyanka Rajasnaiva Dalal in Internet Working. <laughs> Sairam Darnikota in Internet Working. Vinidani Devwedi in Internet Working. <laughs> 
Sai Teja Gala in internet working. Ketan Jitendra Giri Goswami. Ketan Jitendra Giri Goswami in internet working. Nikhil Mohan Gundravaram in internet working. Darashil Nilesh Kumar Jani in Industrial Engineering. Wei Guan Zhang in Industrial Engineering. Rishi Arya Jutru in Engineering Internet Working. Siddharth Kola in Internet Working. Mahider Srira Kotam in internet working. Umay Kulsum in industrial engineering. Abhirami Krishnaraj in Internet Working. <laughs> Deepika Suresh Lakshmi in, in Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Arvind Kumar in Internet Working. Dikshita Lingaredi in Internet Working. Pavan Mandari in Internet Working. Kamakshi Mira Babu in Biological Engineering. Venkatsai Munangi in Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Chaudhry Mustafazir Rahman in Internet Working. Rishant Narek in Internet Working. <laughs> Afulajan Samuel Otuemi in Internet Working. Janish Suresh Kumar Patel in Internet Working. <laughs> Malik Kalpeshbhai Patel in Internet Working. Thank you. 
Nancy Pankajbhai Patel in internet working. Pat Kumar Patel in internet working. Part Paresh Kumar Patel, Internet Working. <laughs> Tusar Patel, in Internet Working. Ajit Kumar Paramal, thank you. Ajit Kumar Paramal, in Internet Working. Abhishek Rambani in internet working. Likit Polparty in internet working. Kirtana Prakash in internet working. Nasif Rashid in internet working. Pradeep Rangarajan in internet working. Bhav Naravi Prasad in internet working. <laughs> Navishri Sadanala in internet working. <laughs> Shravya Samandala in internet working. Nikhil Sai Reddy Sanampudi in internet working. Samir Shaikh, Master of Engineering in internet working. Hiba Sultana in electrical engineering. Taranjit Singh, Master of Engineering, Internet Working. Gurpreet Singh, Master of Engineering, Internet Working. Jasmeet Singh, Internet Working. Sujan Raj in internet working. Thank you. Karandeep Sethi in internet working. Ripudeman Kashik in internet working. Uh, 
Akshay Kumar in Internet Working. Love Chabra in Internet Working. Nagaraju Kokuntla in Internet Working. <laughs> Sai Verun Akaraju in Internet Working. Nandana Sirinvasan in Internet Working. <laughs> Lipi Lasiwala in Internet Working. Anisha Reddy Mangali Kuntla in Internet Working. Lakshmi Singh, Biological Engineering. Rohit Chowdhury in Internet Working. Anshul Sudin in Internet Working. Eskuraki Uzban in, inter in Industrial Engineering. Akila Pedipudi in Internet Working. Jeevan Kumar Taliteri in Internet Working. Siri Chandra Mulagala in Internet Working. Abhishek Kumar in Internet Working. Sanjay Raghavendra in Internet Working. Nandini Talumanayan in Internet Working. Radini Tangala Pali in Internet Working. Syra George Toscano in Internet Working. <laughs> Puvra Tomar in Internet Working. <laughs> B. 
Bianju Wong in internet working. Ziki Wong in internet working. Mr. Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the Master of Engineering. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidate is here today to receive the Master of Science. Prachi Krishnani, Master of Science in Food Science. Mr. Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of the candidate who is here today to receive the Master of Science. Mr. Chancellor, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is the highest earned degree awarded by the university, and as such, represent the culmination of the candidate's educational achievement. The following candidates who, through thesis and examination, have fulfilled the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Mr. Chancellor, the awarding of the PhD degree completes a long collaboration between the student and their thesis advisor. We are pleased in this ceremony also to recognize the supervisor of the doctor candidate, and we ask the supervisor to stand and remain standing as the graduate crosses the stage. Following the awarding of the degree, our newest PhD graduates are asked to join the faculty on stage. Thank you. Mohammed Jaeldu Alam. Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering with Supervisors Asham Habib. Masi Ali Muham Adi, in Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering with Supervisor Craig Lake. Mark Yeo Amagaje, Doctor of Philosophy in Materials Engineering with Supervisor Paul Bishop. Ali Mohammed Bassam, Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering with Supervisor May Seto. Georgetta Power, Georgetta Bauer, sorry, Doctor of Philosophy, Mechanical Engineering with Supervisor Yajun Pan.
Ron Chen, Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical Engineering, Supervisors Yan Ma and Michael Kata. Amy Marie Deeb, Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering with Supervisors Yajun Pan and Mei Sito. Marcial Gaier, Doctor of Philosophy in Materials Engineering with Supervisor Kevin Plucknett. Mehdi Gassemi, Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering with Supervisor Andrew Corgum. Jenny Lynn Hayward, Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering with Supervisor Rob Jamison. Nazmul Arefin Khan, Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering with Supervisor Asan Habib. Kusha Kharamnan in Civil Engineering with Supervisors Pedram Setagan. <laughs> Chue Lin, Doctor of Philosophy in Mineral Resource Engineering with Supervisor Steve Zhao. Reza Rahimi, Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering with Supervisor Yi Lu. Jordan Joseph Ross, Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering with Supervisors May Seto and Cliff Johnston. <laughs> Heng Kwan Shen, Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering with Supervisors Ya Jun Pan.
Araf Otaman Tahar Arasami, Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering with Supervisor Peter Allen. Okay. Mr. Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Can I have a round of applause for our amazing order from the Fountain School of Performing Arts, Wesley Giffen. Thank you. Thank you, Wesley. Another amazing job. Thank you. Please join me once again in congratulating all of our graduate students today. That was by far the best standing ovation for the final congratulations to our graduate student after like 19 convocations. That was amazing. Which, which brings me to the next item on my agenda. I would like now to call attention to the families and friends of our graduates. We know, of course, that convocation is such an important occasion for you. All of us recognize the importance that your love and your support played in the success of our graduating students. So we would like to express our gratitude uh, to you for the role you played. Can I ask the graduates to stand up, please? And if I can ask the onstage party to stand up as well. Graduates, your family and friends have obviously been applauding uh, throughout the convocation ceremony today. Now it is your turn and our turn to thank them for their love and support. <laughs> Thank you. Please be seated. A final congratulations to our 2020 and 2021 graduates. We are thrilled to have you as part of the Dalhousie Alumni family, a network of more than 152,000 people from around the world. Graduates and guests, the business of convocation is concluded. After the singing of O Canada, you are requested to remain standing if you are able. Uh, as the academic procession leaves the auditorium. We would like to extend our thanks to Elder George Paul for allowing us to play the Mi'kmaq honor song as the graduates leave the ceremony. I now invite you to join Samantha Fullerton, a Dalhousie uh, uh, Fountain School of Performing Arts voice student uh, in the singing of our national anthem.
histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits. God keep our land glorious and free.
Hey, oh, hey, hi. 